Welcome to my third Yeti tutorial and I'm going to show you how to cash out your um, simulation. I have this uh, cool scene with an elephant uh, modeled by Sunit from Hydrolabs and I'm in the process of uh, look developing this and integrating it into a live action play la -dee da and I was, um, I was thinking why not put some fur on the tail instead of just having a texture plane. So I'm at the point where I have this texture reference object I have my groom and everything set up. Um, on a side note, if you want to, uh, if you just imported your um, Olympic cache and you want to have the fur follow your mesh, um, you need to go to rendering and texturing and create texture reference object. That is going to give you a texture reference for the uh, model to follow, and you just have to go to connection editor and connect um, your your Olympic geometry with your um, your texture reference object that way the fur will follow or you can just do what I did here and just create the fur directly on top of your Olympic cache and you won't have to worry about it now go to your groom and go check off simulation and in the world you have different uh, numbers one of which is iterations uh, which is this one and the higher number, the the more detailed or the more calculations it actually creates per um, frame. I'm just gonna change the stiffness real quick. Uh, basically, the stiffness is you guessed it. The, the stiffness of the the hair strands and um, rest influence is, is how much power does the groom have as opposed to gravity. Then this collision object, you can add uh, any geometry in here that the fur is going to collide with. I'm not going to do that because it's really not important because you won't see much of the fur anyway. But if you want to go really detailed you can have the base mesh collide with the fur that's actually growing from it. But if you can avoid it, just avoid it. Right. Uh, then go to your fur and click and select the path you want to write your cache to. In this case I want to write it to my cache folder and confirm. Right. And I'm just gonna give it a name for cache. If I can spell it for cache. There we are. And underscore percent for d dot fur. And that's just to have a four number frame padding and that fur is just what you need to call it. Iterations again 8 I'm just gonna go for 8 for this one it's not important and click write cache Okay, and that's it. You can see your animation, your fur animation, running. And just for the uh, the sake of being clean and all, just go to your groom and just uncheck simulation again. Not running completely on the cache, and your groom is really not needed at this point. But keep it anyway, just in case you want to cache out a better version. So that's caching in Yeti.